But in the fall was really the first time I got to work with him. And so, you know, I was a little worried about that. But, um, you know, he's as big as me, strong as me, and he moves fast. And he picked it up fast, too. That was huge. Um, and, you know, just having his kind of speed on the field next to me is uh, is a big positive because, you know, he's – I, I'm more confident to make a gamble or take a risk on certain plays, knowing that if somehow I miss or I was wrong, he's got the speed to run down um, any player on the field. So it, it's been awesome working with him. And then my last question for you is about the tendonitis. How are you feeling right now? And I imagine it's something you're just going to have to play through. Is that something you're going to be able to play through throughout the season? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, it, it, it feels a miles better than it did last year, let me tell you that, because um, I couldn't even get through camp last season. Um, but yeah, you know, it's something that, you know, I treat it every day after practice, I ice it down, um, you know, I rehab it all the time. And as long as I stay on top of it, you know, I, it feels really good. I mean, I'm sure it's something that, you know, I can't sit out for two weeks and expect it to feel really good. Um, you know, it, it's, it's like an old knee, but um, right now it's in shape and it feels really good to go. With all that frustration with injuries and how the year went for you personally and as a team last year, do you feel like you're, you have a clean slate here, you're re-energized, it's the first year again? Yeah, no, I feel um, definitely re-energized. Um, after sitting out a year, you know, I just watched our whole season from the sideline. Um, I think I picked up a lot of things too. So mentally, um, you know, I feel sharper and smarter than ever. Um, you know, I'm back in shape. Uh, I don't have, I'm not favoring a knee like I was my junior year, so I feel healthy. And, you know, I think uh, it's definitely going to be a season where I could turn a new page. You're going to face so many great quarterbacks in the Pac 12 this year. How do you think the secondary is going to hold up? Obviously, the loss of uh, Reggie is a tough one, but is, is it deep enough to withstand an injury like that? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we got a lot of depth, um, you know, guys that are going to be coming back. Uh, you know, I think the linebackers are, they've gotten a lot better at pass coverage, which helps us um, if we can count on them underneath um, and we can stay over the top. And then, you know, I just think uh, with our experience and I think we got a lot of size too, you know, with me and Tevin. You know, Tevin's always trying to compete with me to be more physical. So, uh, you know, as long as, you know, we keep up our film study, go into the game prepared, you know, I, I don't, we're not going to be a fun secondary to go up against. What do you uh, uh, get out of a game like this against a, an FCS team that you know expected to win? You won 70 to seven against a Big Sky team last year. Uh, what can you learn about your your team from a game like this? You can learn a lot because uh, you know it's someone you got to definitely come to, uh, prepared to play against because if you don't, you know they they love to make a bunch of plays on you, and you know at the end of the day. Um, whether it's a close game or a lopsided game, we're going back to the film and watching what we did. Um, and you know, even even if you're up, there's there's plays you will or won't make that you know. Then you look at yourself and be like, hey, why didn't we make this? Like, why aren't we sound? Why aren't we consistent through four quarters? So definitely, um, you know, it's a film we're going to want to look at and make sure we're where we want to be at. It's just a nice way to go into this, this season because this schedule is just going to be brutal from here on out. Maybe kind of ease your way in. Is this a way to kind of maybe work out some of the kinks and figure out um, what, what works and what doesn't? Well, definitely, yeah. You know, this uh, in any first game, you know, there's hopefully not going to be any kinks to work out. But, you know, there's always going to be a couple that unexpectedly show up. Uh, but, you know, yeah, once we get going, the season's, uh, we've got a tough schedule. I mean, every game is going to be a battle, um, but it's going to be fun. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, come game three, game four, you know, we're smooth and we're rolling. How important is it for you guys to make a bowl this year? Is something on your mind at all? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's, there's nothing more I want to do than make a bowl game. Um, you know, not making one the last two years, it's, uh, it's been a huge letdown, you know. It's not what this program's used to, and you know, being it's my senior year, I know a bunch of the other seniors, uh, Nate and Junior. Um, you know, th that's what we want to do is get this team back to, uh, on the track it should be on. And you know, a bowl game just to start. We want six wins, um, you know, but we want to we want to compete in our uh, conference, you know, to win the South, and you know, we just want to get Utah back where it should be. As a team captain, how do you instill that that mindset that you guys want to make it back to that bowl game? Um, you know, I think it's just hard work, and um, you know, it's getting everyone to come along. You know, whether it's getting you know the twos and threes to be watching as much extra film as the ones are, because um, you know they're they can get in the game at any moment. Um, 
And, you know, I think just even our young guys this year in conditioning, uh, our freshmen, they bought in right away. Um, you know, we didn't have guys complaining. And I think by the seniors and other veterans, juniors and stuff, setting that, uh, setting that mindset when people come in, the whole team kind of buys in. Um, and really, I mean, our team's just close this year. And I think that's huge for us, too, is just being one group, one unit. Uh, you know, you can lean on the guy next to you.